Hello, John from Bang & Olsen in Manchester and today we're going to be looking at the new Bang & Olsen A9 fourth generation. So we'll look at the difference between all the other generations and why not, let's compare it to the Edge as well. Let's just crack on. Right, so for all the people that were asking me to do a review on the third generation, this is why I didn't do one, because I knew that the fourth generation was coming and a lot of it would be repeated. So I'll quickly cover it. So it went from the first generation, which came out quite a while ago, was it's only Bluetooth or AirPlay, and then the second generation came along, which added multi-room and all that other lovely stuff with Chromecast. And then the third gen came along not that long ago uh, that added some more drive units to the back, so it got a total of seven drivers uh, to give it a bigger spacious sounds uh, it had a new stronger streaming engine faster performance uh, improved Wi-Fi connectivity airplay 2 Chromecast built-in and Bluetooth and they changed the packaging slightly so now the fourth gen has come along it's now equipped with active room compensation so it does a frequency sweep of the room and adjusts its sound to match which is a feature that's that sort of bled down from the BLAB 90 and BLAB 50 so you know it's got a good old heritage with Bang & Olufsen if it's getting features from the BLAB 50 obviously it's not as in-depth processing as the BLAB 50 but it doesn't cost as much as the BLAB 50s either so you've got the improved sound from the active room compensation which we'll go into in a second uh, it's now got built-in google assistant so you, just like the beer sound one beer sound two it's got a fully fledged built-in google voice assistant which if you use that sort of thing is awesome um, the, they've changed the logo slightly so the b and o play branding has gone uh, and it's now just got bang and olison and etched in the top um, I'm hearing news that there might be an easy mount cover design to come later on so we'll see about that I'll do an update on that if it gets released and the legs have changed slightly so the white version will now come with oak legs and the black version has been updated with black walnut legs so hardware wise underneath the cover it's exactly the same uh, except for the active room compensation as the uh, a9 mark 3 so you've got uh, one 400 watt class d amp for the 8 inch bass driver you've got two 200 watt class d amplifiers for the 3 inch mid-range drivers two of You've also got two 200 watt Class D for the full range speakers in the back. So they have little um, full range one and a half inch drivers facing backwards to give it the spacious sound. And then you've got two 150 watt Class D amps for the two tweeters that sit up front. The position switch has gone. So you don't have the wall corner free position switch anymore because it does its own room compensation. And the handle on the back also doubles as the base reflex port. You've also got BioLink multi-room, Chromecast built in and Bluetooth. So I'll leave a link in the description to the b &O website so you can see the different colours available. Uh, there's black and white of the standard colours and you've also got the fancy Cavadrat, Cavadrad, Vadrat, Vadrad, whatever, wool, all the fancy wool and stuff, so you can see that as well. Or you can, of course, get the lovely Skinny Play covers. I'll leave a link in the description to those because they're really, really cool. And they're also now available on the Edge. So you've got Beer Sound Edge, A9, A6, the old A8. They do all sorts of fancy cool covers. Or you can upload your own image. So that's worth checking out as well. Mm -hmm. okay. I mean, thank you very much for letting me film your skinny play cover because you just bought an I A9 and she she unboxed her little cover there for me and let me film it. Thank I you, did. Jenny. Very welcome. Now it's going back in its box. I'm going to take it home and put it on my A9 and I'll post the picture later. Do you like it? Absolutely love it. I love it. Say thank you to skinny play. Thanks, Skinny Play, for the <laughs> amazing cover, and it's going to look great on my living room wall. So just like BioSound 1 and BioSound 2, it does have a Google Assistant built in, as I mentioned before. So it does all the usual things that a normal Google Assistant will do, like weather, um, reminders, timers, uh, information, ask it any questions, you can play games with it, you can you do all sorts of stuff with it, it's awesome. And it's also part of the Google Chromecast uh, built-in family so it'll do Chromecast audio all around your house if you want to use Google Chromecast rather than the Bang & Olsen Multiroom. Um, 
you can turn the microphone off if you don't want to use the Google Assistant you can turn it off but just bear in mind it does show the little red dots to show that the microphone is off so if you want it off permanently a little bit of electrical tape under the cover or something will just cover those lights up if they bother you. So just like the other A9s it does have touch controls on the back so the tap in the middle will play the last played source. Running your fingers over the back will increase or decrease volume. All very nice and a tap on the right will change track up and a tap on the left will go back a track. So if you've watched my channel for a while now, you know my feelings on sound tests on YouTube. You can't really appreciate it, it's not the same, obviously. But, you should be able to hear a difference between the different products. So, we're going to play music from, this is a Generation 2, so without the extra drivers. You've got the Generation 4 down here, and we've got the lovely Beer Sound Edge. So let's play some lovely copyright free music and see what's going on. Right, so here we go, we'll start on the Generation 2 on the top right. generation back to the second generation Fourth generation. Harrison Beer Sound Edge. generation. So what about the sound difference? We well, heard there from the sound tests, I don't know how well the microphone will pick that up. Uh, I've got to say, big improvement on the spaciousness of the sound. Those two rear-facing drive units really do the business. Uh, so it makes the speaker sound much bigger than it is. Uh, and the immediate difference to me between the second generation without those drivers and the new fourth generation is all the mid-range is much more forwards, it's much clearer, um, th there's much more detail in the sound, especially in the mid to top frequencies. Um, the bass becomes tighter because it's doing that room calibration. So the bass is nice and controlled, but still pretty deep as well. So it goes right down to 33 hertz on the official specs, which is really impressive for a speaker 
of this size. I know it's not a small speaker, but it's still pretty impressive. That sort of subwoofer level almost. Um, the difference between that and the Generation 2 is very, very clear. So the, gen it makes, the Generation 2 is still a very good speaker, don't get me wrong, but the, yeah, there is a big improvement on the Gen 4. Now, the difference between the Gen 4 A9 and the Beosound Edge, um, the Edge has got it beat with just the depth of bass. With that active bass port, the, the bass is much deeper, much more powerful on the Edge, which you would expect with a big 10-inch driver. Um, I almost prefer, as much as I love the Edge, I almost prefer the A9. You do get some sort of stereo separation from it, albeit quite limited, because it is a stereo speaker and you've got you've got tweeters and mid-range uh, either side of the cabinet facing on a slight angle outwards, whereas the Edge doesn't do that. But the Edge fills the room better because it's almost like uh, an omnidirectional sound almost. You can't really tell where it's coming from, it just fills the space with music and it, there's no sort of pinpoint of where it's coming from because of the, the, op, the opposing facing drive units. Whereas the A9 is a bit more directional uh, and you could actually do some critical listening on this thing, it is, it is really good. So it depends on what you're wanting to do with it. For, for just filling a room with really good sound, the Edge as it beat I think, but for, for actual sound quality, the actual detail in the music, if you want to actually do some critical listening on it, I think the A9 is a winner. So that's the end of the video. Hello. Did you see his grumpy face before we started? That's what it's like, on his phone, grumpy. Grumpy, grumpy <sighs> box doing, money in. Doing a Facebook post. A Facebook post, that's important, is it? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes, it is. is it a personal Facebook post? Uh, yes it is. Yeah. Yes. In work hours, on the work internet, using personal Facebook. Do you think that's acceptable? It's my internet. I'll give you that. I pay for it. Yeah, I'll give you that as well. So it is acceptable. You carry on with your Facebook. I will do. Yeah. Anyway, good to see John back after a long pause. I've had a nice I'm, break. It's I know you've nice, all missed yeah. him. Back. We have been moaning at him, saying, "Come on, John, when are we going to see the next video?" But no, is. John's been a bit slow. We've already done two in the last week or so. Mm. But then we have had a, a bit of a drop with pro new products and things. But yeah. I, I think we can do a uh, much more regular um, input for the, for the great YouTube viewers out there. Yeah, I'm going to start doing more updates, at least once a month, doing updates on software and things like that. See, I don't want to just talk about nothing. No, no, I get that. Fluff videos is boring. Yeah. I know. New products are always the best ones. They're, 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 they're my favourite ones. We've got a new coffee machine. Got a new coffee machine. So if you want to come into Manchester and have a, a lovely, lovely coffee on our new coffee machine, um, which um, yes, which is very, very nice, and we're just just trying different types of beans. If you've got a recommendation, we'd love to hear from you. Oh, we've got our nailed. It's, it's pro Jenny made me a delicious coffee this morning. Did you make me one? Yeah. No, you've already got in. True. Um, but yeah, so come and have a nice coffee. It's top banana. Top banana. It is. Do you like that? It's a good saying. Yeah. Like, Top banana. I've got a lot of good sayings, me. Yeah. Top banana. The ending's already too long now. Oh well, that's it then. Okay, goodbye uh, from sunny Manchester, and we'll see you in the next video. That's my thing. That's my. Thank you. Of course, if you don't want the Google Assistant on, you want to cover up the red lights. You could. Uh, don't know why you would. You could add Boss Man Ian's little mask there. That looks quite nice for your cover. You can be looking at Boss Man Ian. You could perhaps even swap it for the Boss Man Ian assistance. Let, let's give it a go. Hey Boss Man, how's the weather in Manchester today? Rainy. Hey Boss Man, how far away is the sun in centimetres? A long way. Hey Boss Man, turn the lights on. Turn them on yourself.